morning. It's Wednesday morning, February the 10th, 2021. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and it's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word this morning. We're going to read a few verses from Matthew chapter 22, and this is a powerful portion of scripture because Christ is still trying to be, they're, they're still trying to trip him up. They're still attempting at trying to entrap him in his speech. And he presents some great and really dynamic truths in the midst of all of that. Listen as I read from Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. The Bible says, But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, saying, Master, which is the great commandment of the law? Jesus saith unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Then the Pharisees were gathered together, or while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, and then he questioned them. But there through verse 40, he was presenting a great truth, even though he was being tested. He was sort of being being uh, grilled, and the Pharisees were trying to give them, trying to give themselves something to which they could accuse the Lord uh, by ask by this lawyer asking him. This was a this was a man who was a, a a student of the law. He's called a lawyer because he studied the law of Moses, not because he was a person who was involved with prosecution or jury practices, jurisprudence as it's it's called today, but rather he was a great student of the law of Moses. And so he was called a lawyer and he said, which is the great commandment of the law? And the Lord's answer is notable. He said, you should love God with all your heart, with all your being. And the second is like unto it. And the man didn't ask this question. What's the, what's the second one? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And Jesus said, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And it's a great truth for us to remember as well. The greatest commandment, and I believe that I believe that all of the Old Testament commandments are summarized and encompassed, embraced with this great truth, just loving God with all of our being, just loving God with all of us. And if we love him with all of us, we'll do a whole lot of things that we wouldn't normally do and we won't do a lot of things that we normally, we naturally by our old sinful flesh's dictates would do if we're just loving God as we ought to. It's a great principle and one that we should seriously consider. And and we understand that we give a lot of credence to the Old Testament and there are a lot of great Old Testament accounts there that are learning experiences for us and they're given to us for examples corinthians says but all of this could be summarized in this great commandment love god just love god with all of your being that's about the greatest that's the very greatest thing that you could do is examine your own love for the lord and see to it that he is in the first position in the first place what a great truth for us to learn from the word of God, from the lips of Jesus Christ himself. Just love the Father. And Christ did, of course, emulate and exemplify that great truth himself. He said, I do always those things that please the Father. And he was subjected to, submissive to the Father during his personal earthly ministry and gave us an example that that's how we should be as well. Just love God and ask him to love you more. Ask you to love, ask, ask him to help you, I should say. Ask him to help you love him more as the days go by. God bless you today.